Hello everybody, my name is Furious Gamer, and welcome back to another 1 to 5 scale Minecraft Warship tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to build the HMS Illustrious, uh, Illustrious Class Aircraft Carrier. Now, this is of course my design, and if you would like to use it, make sure to give me credit. Uh, this is a guy on Buildings for Minecraft who stole my uh, Cleveland, so I'm just going to put it out there. Give credit where it is due. But with that out of the way, um, let's get a little background for this ship. HMS Illustrious was the lead ship of her class of aircraft carriers built for the Royal Navy before World War II. Her first assignment after completion and working up was with the Mediterranean fleet, in which her aircraft's most notable achievement was sinking the, the one Italian battleship and badly damaging another during the battle, uh, two others during the Battle of Toronto in late 1940. Two months later, the carrier was crippled by a German dive bomber and was repaired in the United States after sustaining damage on the voyage home in late 1941. By a collision with her sister ship Formidable, Illustrious was sent to the Indian Ocean in early 1942 to support the invasion of Vichy, France, Madagascar, Operation Ironclad. After returning home in early 1943, the ship was given a lengthy refit, refit and briefly assigned to the home fleet. She was transferred to Force H for the Battle of Salerno. I think, in mid-1943, then rejoined the Eastern Fleet in the Indian Ocean at the beginning of 1944. Her aircraft attacked several targets in, in Japanese-occupied Dutch Indi East Indies over the following year before Illustrious was transferred to the newly formed British, British Pacific Fleet, BPF. The carrier participated in the early stages of the Battle of Okinawa until a mechanical uh, mechanical defects arising from cumul cumulating damage, uh, battle damage, became so severe she was ordered home early for repairs in May 1945. The war ended while she was in the dry dock, and the Admiralty decided to modify her for use at, as the home fleet's trials and training carrier. In this role, she conducted the deck landing trials for most of the British post war naval aircraft. In the early 1950s, she was occasionally used to ferry troops and aircraft to and from foreign deployments, as well as participating exer in exercises. In 1951, she helped to transport troops to quell rioting in Cyprus after the collapse of the Anglo Egyptian Treaty of 1936. Uh, she was paid off in, near, in early 1955 and sold for scrap in late 1956. So, pretty cool carrier. She did quite a bit, actually. Um, I think she looks nice, I guess. But, um... Yeah. And yes, I know Garrett 2x4 did his in a stream built his in a stream recently, but mine is more accurate and older, anyway, so there's that, but, uh, yeah, that's all for, uh, Illustrious, moving into layer one, alright, starting off with layer one, you want to get your, uh, brick wall, and then on the second block, underwater, if you're doing her in the water, if not, then just put her, put this wherever you want. A brick wall. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven red terracotta. With one, two, three, and four bricks, uh, brick slabs. And then you want one, two, three, four, and five red terracotta full blocks and one, two, three brick slabs on the side. Anyway, 
some in my nose. One, two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Thirteen and fourteen. Rick Terracotta blocks. And then one, two, three, four bricks. Top slabs. And one, two, three, four, and five. Rick Terracotta on the inside. One, two, three brick slabs. And an end rod. And then smooth sandstone slab. In between you want one, two, three, four, five, six. Rick Terracotta. And a bricks a brick stairs, a smooth sandstone slab, and then two brick walls. You want to go to the very last layer over. You know, one, two, three, one. Fourth block forward. You want one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight brick top slabs on the side, and then you want to fill in. Uh, the keel, just like that. Copy that to the other side, and then that does it. For layer one, moving on to layer two. Alright, moving on to layer uh, two. You want a brick wall on top of the previous one, and then two for a terracotta after. You want go diagonal, you want one, two, three, four, five. And stone bricks slab. One, one, two, three, four, five. With two brick slabs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Red terracotta. There should be. Two blocks past the starting point of that. Uh, you know what? One, two, three, four brick top slabs. One, two, three, four, and then five go in. Alright. And you want one, two, three, four top slabs after that. Go inside. You want one, two, three. Three, four, red terracotta, and then two brick slabs go in. One, two red terracotta, a forward facing upside down stair, and then two brick slabs coming off of it. Alright. And then that about does it for layer two. We'll move on to layer. Hmm. I'm having difficulty breathing, I'm sorry guys. But anyway, we're going to move on to layer 2. No, layer 3. Alright, you want to place a Full block on this wall, and then another full block with stone uh, slab, side facing stone stair, and then you know, one, two, two and three stone blocks with two stone slabs on the side, and then one full block stone stair, and then one. Two stone blocks with stone slabs coming off, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, and twenty-six. Full stone blocks. At this point, you could actually, if you uh, copied the hull over, you could 
uh, fill these in. You could probably make like a custom battleship or something. But anyway, you want two stone slabs off to the side. You want one, two, and three stone blocks with stone slab. Full block. Full block. Slab. Full block. Full block. Scatter buttons. There we go. Now go to the other side. You want stone slab. One, two, full box. Stone slab. One, two, three, full box. Two stone slabs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, and twenty-six stone slabs. And one, two, full blocks, stone stairs, and then one full block, one, two stone slabs, one, two, three full blocks, a stone stair, and then a stone top slab. And just like the other side, you want to just scatter some buttons. Just across the hall, just like that. Alright, now, moving on to the next layer, you want to get a bunch more blocks out. Da, 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 and rum tum yum. I think it's almost about right. Alright, so starting off with start, okay, to start layer 4, you want a full stone block facing, and then a stair on the front facing upside down forward, one on the side with a full block behind it, and then another full block, both with stone slabs, and then one, two, three, and four full blocks with one, two, three stone stairs and then you want to place a stone block on top of the stone stair right there and then you want, okay these three stone stairs facing out you want to place full block behind the first one no full block behind both you want the top sta slab stone block and then one, two, with two stone top slabs, full block, two stone top slabs, full block, a top stair, and then one full block, and then you want one, two, three and four with andesite walls on them and then stone stair full block stone stair full block 
Full block with an anti-set wall. Full block with a birch fence. Full block. Full block. Two quartz uh, bottom slabs. Stone. Two quartz bottom slabs. Stone. 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 And then another full stone. And then two two stairs. Full block behind the stair. And then a back facing top stair. And then a slab coming off of it. And then go behind. You want two full blocks. Yes. And then the top slab coming off of it. With a full block in the middle. Alright, now you want to take item frames. You want one on this last stone block and then two on the uh, on the stairs. Move up front. You want one, two, three on the stairs. You want to take grey concrete and put it behind these slabs up front and behind the lifeboats in the back just like that now you want to move to the other side stone slab one two full blocks stone stair no, stone top slab and a stone stair behind with a full block one stone stair and then stone stair next to it full block next to it and then you want uh... iron frames on that just like that and then a normal side facing stair one full block on the this way yeah alright and then two smooth quartz bottom slabs a stone stair no a full block bottom slabs, and then one, two, three, and then fourth with birch fence gate, one with a wall, and then normal stone stair, upside down stone stair, one, two, three, four, five, with one, two, three, four, five walls, and then one, two, three, uh, item, item frames, and then a full block, and then stone, normal stair, full block, two top stairs, right, yeah, wait, no, two top slabs, one, two, and then a full block, and then top slab, full block, top slab, full block, full block, full block, and then top slab, and one, two, three, four full blocks, with stone stairs coming off of them, and item frames. And you will go in. Full block. Full block in. And then two stone slabs on the outward full block. And then one, two. Full blocks. With a stone stair on the side of the front stone stair. And then that does it for layer four. What you want to do. Now is take your grain concrete again, and then put it behind any open points in the hall. 
Ah, don't break anything. And then, what you want to do now is get your polished blackstone stair. Not uh, polished blackstone stair. Blackstone button. And then scatter them around the uh, finished product of layer four. All right, now moving on to layer five and the last layer of the hull. I'm gonna go to the middle, the stone stair, and then two more off to the side. And then, from the previous, um, hold on, what else do I have? Anyway, um, from the previous layer, you needed a iron trap door here, on either side. But yeah, you want, behind it, you want a full block. And then with a skeleton skull on the trap door. And then one. One, two soul stone, blo uh, stone blocks. And then two light gray stained glass panels. One, two, and three full blocks. And then. Polish and a slab on the first, uh, top upside down stair, and on the third, and then birch fence gates open coming off of them. And then one, two stairs, one, two, three stone, stone with a wall, one, two, three stone, stone with a top trap door just like that and then one two three four five six and seven full blocks with andesite walls on it um, you actually want five walls on the bottom underneath it, so that this looks normal. Alright, and then you want five item frames in the middle. And then a full block with an iron trap door. Two smooth quartz slabs, full block with a wall, and then top uh, slab stair, and then stone upside down forward facing stair with birch fence gate, and then full block with a birch fence gate, and then one full block, full block with an open Trap door, two full, th three full blocks with normal birch fence gates on them, and then a full block with an andesite wall, and then one, two, uh, with normal full blocks, and then you want more AA. So on either side of the row of three, you want polish and set slabs with birch fence gates, and then one, two, three. All right, and then one, two, three full blocks. I apologize for the sniffling. All right. You want one, two, three glass panels. And then you just want a row of 
five just down across the back just like this <clears throat> light gray stained glass panels across the top and an iron trap door underneath and then I forgot to add alright <clears throat> then I want two more stone on the side and then one, two, three light gray stained glass panels, two polished anti slabs with trap doors, and then three full blocks behind and then front one, two, and the second one an side wall, and then two, three. Full blocks. First one with a uh, fence post, birch fence gate going in, and then another fence post. And then two full blocks, and set one second, and another full block. Two stone top slabs with birch normal birch fence gates on them full block and then smooth row of two smooth quartz and then a full block with stone slab full block side facing stone stair full block side facing facing upside down stone stair full block full block with open birch fence gates Upside down stair, full block, full block with stone slab, full block, full block with birch fence gate, full block, full block with birch fence gate, full block, full block with wall, full block, and then two stone stairs on the side, and then Polished anisite slabs on top of the three, uh, on either side of the three, uh, side stairs, and then one, two, three full blocks behind, one, two full blocks with, uh, light gray stained glass panel, the stone block, and then a wither skeleton skull on this iron trap door. And then a stone stair on the front, and then a side facing stone stair. So you have that. And that does it for layer 5, except for the deck. But before we move into the deck, you want to get end rods out and levers. On these slabs right here, you want an end rod out. No. A lever facing out and then on this wall you want on these walls you want double end rods And on this second glass panel on the starboard side, just like that. All right, and then you want to get out polished andesite stairs and then you want one two three four five six seven and eight um 
side facing post and side stairs, they should line up with this uh, no, abnormal stair right there. Alright, now you take your smooth cords, slap and left. To go in the center, you want one, two, three, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine top slabs, and then you want to get out your polished inner side slabs. You want one, two, and then you want to go from there. We go. So you want. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, and twenty-six top slabs, and then two polished anti slabs, and then run this line all the way back. All right. Now on either side of the main line, starting at this open perch fence gate right here, you want one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. On this side, you want two gray concrete with white carpet. And then on this side, one, here, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Shouldn't have an issue with the concrete in front of it. Alright, and I'll just fill the rest of the deck in with gray concrete. So you get the full deck filled in. Now you want to go behind these walls. You want one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. You want to fill behind those with gray concrete. So you have something that looks like this. All right. Now you want with stone. You want one, two. Three, four, five, six, and seven. With the stone stairs coming off the back. And two light gray stained glass panels. Two buttons. And he says one, two, Birch uh, signs. <laughs> On this side, you uh, just want to get your uh, item frames on the third block back. You know, one, two, and three. Just like that. And then, next layer, you want a wall. And then stone, 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 
stone and stone with a stone stair facing forward and then the skeleton skull facing forward on this stair. We want two arm trap doors on top of these first two item frames. And then on either side you want one, two signs on the front, and then one, two on the side, you want one, two buttons, just like that. Not Inside slab on this wall, a full block, a stone stair, and then a full block, a full block, and a wall, and an end rod. And you want a sign, work sign on either side of this. Slab item frame on the front. Now, if you want to add a little more detail to that, you can just put a polished anesthetic slab in it facing vertical, just like that. And then two, one, two, three iron trap doors on the port side, and then two on the starboard. a skull on this first block and you want a fence post on this stair and then you want a two full brick slabs and then a stone brick wall and then end rod on either side of this fence post and side wall and then one and then you want a, a place a block skeleton skulls and then an end rod <laughs> on top of that end rod just like that and then two more end rods on top of this and rod in the back. You want to pepper the last two layers with um, polished blackstone buttons. take gray carpet and fill in the rest of the exposed pieces of the hull. Alright, and that does it for my design for the HMS Illustrious, Illustrious Class Aircraft Carrier. I hope you all enjoyed, and uh, maybe for 
other upcoming tutorials, you might want to hit that uh, bell icon down below. And then, if you'd like updates on what ships I'm building, go ahead and press that link in the description. It will take you to the Discord server where you can request stuff, hang out with other people, and uh, overall just have some fun. Also, make sure to comment. I don't know what. Maybe just comment illustrious, I guess. Um, yeah, comment illustrious if uh, you watch the uh, tutorial the whole way through. But, um, yeah. My name is Furious Gamer. Building the HMS Illustrious. I'll be seeing you guys later. Goodbye. Hope you all have a wonderful day. And a good night.